Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Unibrook channel and today we have some more brand new LEGO leaks for 2022. So if you're going to enjoy the video then I always appreciate a like and subscription as well. But with that being said, let's begin. So we've got a lot of really exciting things to go over in today's video. Uh, a lot of new LEGO leaks uh, for 2022 sets as well as some pretty unexpected stuff as well. So uh, let's begin. So first off, uh, LEGO officially revealed the new LEGO creator a Vespa uh, 125. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time going over this because there are reviews on this set on YouTube, but overall, I think it looks really, really good. And uh, along with it, LEGO released another LEGO creator set, uh, which is set number uh, 40517. This is another Vespa with 118 pieces, recommended for ages 9 and over. And this will be a set that you can actually buy, so it won't be a gift with purchase like we all thought with the big Vespa, which I think is a really nice idea for LEGO to do. And also, I really like the red color scheme. And then LEGO also officially revealed the gold bowl as well. We got some nice HD clear pictures of the set, just so, uh, showing the set in a bit more action and some of the features of the set. And then we also got a nice look at all of the minifigures as well, which overall I think look really, really good. And then next up, we have a uh, another look at the new LEGO gift with purchase set. Uh, for Jane Goodall and this is set number 40530 uh, recommended for ages 10 and over this is the first in hand picture that we have of the set and then here's the back of the box uh, showing a close look at the minifigure and then it also shows the comparison of the minifigure to Jane Goodall herself which I think is really cool and then it shows some of the trees as well and then next we have uh, some new information on the new Lego N1 Starfire and Lego confirms that the Mandalorian has a face print for Din Djarin in set number 75325 the n1 starfire you know a lot of people are really hyped for that and then next we have a brand new lego star wars magazine that has been revealed uh, which includes a nice little build for the 8080 and this is to coincide with the uh, ucs 8080 that has come out as well as the of atst and then next up we have another look at the new uh, lego minecraft magazine which includes a iron golem which i think looks really really good and then we've also got a look at the new lego speed champions for uh, aston martin poly bag set uh, which overall i think looks really really nice and the build is really cool for this uh, quite simple but really effective and it is recommended for ages six and over and then next up we've got some new information on a uh, quite uh, a few new lego technic sets so uh, we're going to be getting set number four two one four three with 3776 pieces and it is going to be the ferrari daytona uh, which i think is a really cool idea can't wait to see how lego go about doing that and then we also have some information on some of the other lego techniques that we will be seeing for summer 2022 so uh, we have set number four two one four six the lr uh, th one three zero 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 uh, for 450 euros and it includes 2882 pieces and uh, we do have the descriptions of the set as well so you can read those if you want and then we have set number four two one four five the airbus h175 rescue helicopter with 2001 pieces for 200 dollars um, again i think that's really cool and it will uh, consist of the colors red and yellow and then we have set number four two one four four the waste handler with 185 pieces and it will be releasing for the 1st of august we don't know the recommended age yet um how it's probably going to either be 16 or 18 plus and it will be retaining for 100 euros and then next we have uh, a new lego set that we will be getting which is going to be set number 10307 the rival tower which will be releasing for november 2022 and it's um, estimated to be over a meter long which is really really tall um, and it's going to be much more detailed than the last version and it's built in dark tan and it will be retailing for 630 dollars which is absolutely insane and then the last thing this is very unexpected we have our first look at the new lego force ghost piece so this will be appearing in i believe the new lego dagobah set um, and this is a new concept that LEGO have started doing because a lot of people have been wanting four skulls for a while now and obviously LEGO can't really print the figures and translucent. They could do so with the headpiece but not with the rest of this, uh, the figure. So instead they've made this piece and this is just sort of an example of how it works and everything uh, with a Qui-Gon uh, gym minifigure. Uh, some people have said that that's a new minifigure however I'm not sure but the piece is completely new and will be featuring in uh, future LEGO sets for 2022 and beyond. Overall, I think it's a really clever idea um, and essentially it works very similarly to sort of the hand solo and carbonite uh, piece. So you have the clips on the side where you can clip the hands of the minifigure onto there and you can also close it from the back as well. 
uh, to sort of give that nice glowy effect and it's also done in translucent blue which is great but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video if you did enjoy it then i would always appreciate a like and subscription as well let me know in the comments section down below what you think are you excited or not what do you think about the new force ghost piece as well i'd love to know your thoughts on that um i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye